And then uh, all of a sudden, you know, Frank had signed the entire Rat Pack. Now we were doing Dean Martin's records, Sammy Davis's records, Joey Bishop's records. We, we were, Frank owned the, you know, he was the Pope. Uh, they called him the chairman of the board, but Frank was the Pope. Pope Sinatra. <laughs> and uh, you couldn't meet a nicer guy. Really was a wonderful, wonderful man. He was a wonderful musician. He'd been through all those years with all the bands, Tommy Dorsey, Harry James, all of them. Seen it all, done it all. He received Academy Award. I mean, he was a he was an, an actor's actor and a musician's musician. He really knew what he was doing. There were times that he he would stop the band and he would say, you know where you got that trumpet solo? It's a little harsh. Maybe we could make that a flute. Make it a little bit prettier. Then they'd say, sure, and they would do it, and it, it was perfect. Barbara Streisand used to do that. She really knew what she was doing. Um, and Nancy started getting the hang of that, too. There were times we were doing live shows with Nancy. Uh, it was recently that we did the 35th anniversary of the Whiskey A Go Go, which I, the first time I played there was with Johnny Rivers. We did a live album, and that was Johnny's big uh, break into Hollywood. So in Strangers in the Night, you opened that with the... Uh your famous Phil Spector beat. Well, that's true. The uh, Strangers in the Night, people have asked me about that, what you play on that. And I'd say, well, if you remember the record, Be My Baby, it opened with this big drum thing. Doom, do doom, bang, doom, do doom, bang. Well, what I, I actually did the same thing on Strangers in the Night, but a very genteel way. It was Strangers in the Night, boom, ba-da-da-da, boom, da da it just worked out. I mean, I wasn't even thinking of it that way, that I'm going to take the Be My Baby lick and do it. It just right. worked out that way. And, of course, it was a, it was the big comeback single for Frank Sinatra. And, uh, gosh, everything we did was absolutely beautiful. Uh, I have a very nice uh, little trophy in there um, from the family of my first work with Frank Sinatra. And, um, gosh, you know, you spend your whole life watching a, as a child. I mean, I know this is not a special about me and my background, but I grew up in a, as a child at the State Theater in Hartford, Connecticut, watching Frank Sinatra, watching Count Basie, watching Harry James, Tommy Dorsey, all these incredible bands. Uh, for me, it was, it was fantastic. 